To connect the Meraki SD-WAN fabric to Umbrella's secure Internet Gateway platform, we need to deploy the Umbrella SD-WAN connectors. To do so, we go to the Cloud OnRamp page, where you will need to connect your Umbrella account via API keys. I have already connected mine, so I will proceed with the deployment. To the deploy the connectors, simply give the deployment a name, then choose the primary and secondary data center where you would like to connect to Umbrella. That's it! Once you press Continue, the connectors will be configured and deployed automatically for you inside of each data center and connected to your SIG account. And there we go, our deployment is now complete and we have one active deployment. If we go to the Deployments tab, we'll see two new networks were created. And if we click through to one of these networks, we can see a new UMB SIG connector was added to each of these networks and is now online inside of the Umbrella Cloud. Finally, we'll go over to our branch site. We'll go to the site to site VPN page. And all we need to do here is add these new hubs to our spokes so that our traffic will go through the sd wan fabric to the Umbrella Cloud. Now let's switch over to our Umbrella dashboard where we will see two new network tunnels created as part of the deployment. We're now going to create a policy and apply a policy to these tunnel IDs so that traffic traversing our sd wan fabric will be secured by the Umbrella Cloud. First we'll go to the Web Policy section and create a new policy. The first thing I'm going to do in my new policy is create a remote browser isolation policy to block any browser-based attacks from my user. This is a super powerful capability delivered by Umbrella that will actually create a pseudo browser for you in the cloud where your content for the sites that you browse to will be loaded and any malicious, any malicious browser-based attacks will be blocked there and only the safe content delivered to your actual browser on your device. Next, we'll give our policy a name and assign it to the connectors we just deployed. Therefore, any traffic that traverses our SD-WAN fabric to these umbrella connectors will have this policy enforced on it. The next thing we're going to do is enable ThreadGrid file inspection so that any files that I'm downloading can be sandboxed and determined to be safe before they're actually delivered to the final user. I will also block all ISO file downloads and then I'll proceed to enable HTTPS inspection as well as block harmful destinations such as malware sites, phishing attack sites, and potentially harmful domains. Let's save that and we're done. But let's take it one step further by also creating a data loss prevention policy so sensitive data does not leave our organization. With DLP, you can specify over 80 types of data such as credit card info, social security numbers, and PII, which will be blocked if Umbrella sees such data traversing the connectors to keep your organization and employees safe. Finally, let's verify that our new policy is affecting traffic from a client on one of our branch sites. I'm going to go to the Ubuntu site and download the latest Ubuntu OS ISO file. As you can see, this file is blocked by the policy we just created. And there you have it, powerful, robust, cloud-delivered security for our SD-WAN fabric 